So for number two, uh, this problem has two things going on with it. Um, number one is because you know that this angle is 90 and this angle is 90, that means that um, those two lines are perpendicular to the same line, AB and ED, so they're parallel, which then means that this angle is the same as this angle and this angle is the same as this angle. And essentially, these two triangles are similar, and these two triangles are similar, and then the big two triangles are similar. And so similarity is one thing we're going to need to use. And then the second thing we're going to have to use on this problem is that since ACE is 90, this is 90, this is 90, this is 90. And so we're going to use what we know about um, altitudes, GC, drawn to the hypotenuse, EB of ED, of right triangles. Um, and we learned some things about that this year. So for this problem, you got EG is 8, DG is 10, and then BC is 8. Well, um, we start in the bottom triangle because that's what we have the most information about. And the only one of the um, uh, altitude to the hypotenuse of a right triangle theorems you need to remember. So if you remember, it, it used to look like this. This is what we, we drew it as. So this is a good review of this. We would um, call this leg one and this leg two, and we'd call this H1 and this H2, and we'd call this the altitude. Uh, remember, these are both right angles. And then we'd call this whole thing H. Well, the one that is useful here is the altitude squared is equal to H1 times H2. The two segments on the hypotenuse, if you multiply those together, you get the square of this altitude. Remember, the other ones are um, L1 squared equals H1 times H, and L2 squared equals H2 times H, right? This times the whole thing equals L1 squared. Same thing on that one. And then the fourth one we had is we used the area, right? L1 times L2 equals A times H, two different ways to calculate the area of the triangles. But we're just going to use this one. And so that means that this is the square root of 80, and the square root, because you end up with, a squared equals 8 times 10, and so you get square root of 80. So A just turns out to be um, 4 root 5, because 16 goes into 80. So this is 4 root 5, and then you can use Pythagorean theorem to show that this one is 12. 8 squared is 64, plus um, 4 root 5 squared is 80. That equals 144, so you just get a square root of 12. And then this one turns out to be, well, you get square root of 180, uh, because 100 plus 80, and so it's going to be 6 root 5. So far, so far, have we ca ca calculated any of the ones we need? No, and so everything um, we need... Oh, I guess we don't need to find BC since it's already <laughs> already given to us. So we know that's 8, yay. Um, and then um, what we have is that the, we go back to the similar triangles that we talked about right at the beginning of the problem. And so we know these two triangles are similar. And so the ratio of their hypotenuses is 8 to 12 or 2 to 3, right? 8 to 12 simplifies to 2 to 3. So if I want to find FC, then it's this length, FC, 2 over 3 is going to equal FC over 4 root 5. So that means that FC just equals 8 root 5 over 3. And then if we want to calculate AF, that's this length. We can use the 2 to 3 again, and the one that it's going to be comparable to is um, the 10. And so we're going to say 2 to 3 is equal to um, AF over 10. And so AF is just going to equal 20 over 3. That's a challenging problem, probably harder than what would be one on the final. But you do need to know this stuff about similar triangles, and you do need to know this stuff about um, remembering the altitude to the right triangles.